Okay. I am, my name is Charles Malimia. Yeah, of course, uh, I'm a, a mathematician. Did um, a Bachelor's of Education at Chancellor College, majored in mathematics. Did an honors program at the same place, okay, in mathematics as well. After that, I, I taught for four years at Domas College of Education, lecturing in mathematics. Um, and after, I think after that, then I, I went to, to, to join my father's business. Was my, at that point, my father passed away. So I was like, uh, going to continue his business. Now, when I was uh, okay, in Blanta during that time, I, just to continue with what I learned at, at college, I started doing part-time lecturing here. So I've been uh, lecturing in maths on part-time basis from 2005 until the time when I saw this certificate about uh, an MPU program at Washington. So I applied and then uh, was, uh, was picked for this program. And then uh, coming to this program, my major interest was to, to look at biogas and uh, organic, inorganic fertilizer production. Um, that's the topic, is organic fertilizer production. Can you tell us why that's important? What is the, the need behind this research and the motivation? Okay. Uh, uh, the topic of what was cho chosen, basically considering that our nation, Malawi, is a, an agro-based economy. And of course, the majority of our people are farmers who live in subsistence farmers in the villages. But the problem now is like the, there's too much reliance on uh, in, uh, the, the organic fertilizer, inorganic fertilizer, which is becoming very expensive. And of course, in order to, to help out, the government has been running subsidy programs. But uh, obviously, because of financial problems, financial constraints, this program is having problems to, uh, to in financing. So if you find that within a year, or, or the, most of the chunk of the budget goes towards subsidy programs, especially this time of the year, that's when the government is busy buying fertilizers to, to subsidize to farmers. They need now to, to look for alternatives. I mean, alternatives means for uh, fertilizing our gardens was my major earlier of concern. And I noticed that most people in farm uh, about uh, maybe chickens, pigs, animals, or like cattle or goats, but they don't utilize the, the, uh, the manure from those animals. They just leave it uh, okay to decompose in any other way. And that on its own has got its problems was uh, we know free decomposition of those things produce uh, meth and gas, which is not good for the environment. And of course, global warming issues, climatic changes. And of course, those, those things are also bringing their own problems. So it's like we are trying to look at two things at the same time, controlling that decomposition by, by allowing that uh, the decomposition to be taking place in a, 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 a system like a digester. That, in that way, will produce biogas, which they will be using for, uh, for cooking and stuff like that. And by so, in so doing, we're also trying to uh, control deforestation, which is being, I mean, taking place, which is taking place at the very alarming rates in the villages. Now, after that process, then we'll be looking at the, uh, the, the sludge and now see, okay, turn it into fertilizer. So with, with that, we will reduce the dependency on the, uh, this organic fertilizer, yes. So there's some practical aspects to your research. Could you just very quickly describe some of the key stages you think you will undertake in your research? Uh, briefly, I think I will do the setting up of the systems because I'm trying to use affordable, 20 litre drums in households. After that, then we have a system where the, the, the burgers will be used in their homes for cooking. Then the collections will be now used uh, for the process of making organic fertilizer. Yeah. Great.
Um, and after your research is finished here, mm. where, do you, where do you hope to go after? Where do you see the future for you? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. Uh, two things. I have got two, two sides in me. I'm a business person and at the same time I'm an academician. So I can fit into both worlds. I know there's little that is being, okay, at the moment, I think there's need to be, I mean, there's a lot to be done about biogas and, and uh, in, uh, renewable energies. Okay, so there's a lot of sensitization, uh, uh, teachings and stuff like that. So I can fit into that area as a lecture in, in, in that direction. Oh, I can, I'm a business person, I can start Okay, organic fertilizer production company in the villages using those systems. Yeah, Good. sure. Excellent. Sure. Good. Good. Thanks very much. Okay.